All right, what's up, everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Strength Classroom. Today, I'm showing you my dynamic effort upper body workout. I've been doing other movements with my dynamic work, as you can see here. It's a low incline bench. Bench, sorry. I don't think you'd see a lot of people doing any other movement other than dynamic effort flat bench, which I think you're leaving some, you know, gain some progress on the table by only doing the flat bench with other bands or chains or even just straight weight. Louis Simmons himself did say that he knew some guys at his gym that would do dumbbell floor press for speed. So that's very different. Not only is it a floor press and it's a different exercise, it's also being used with a different implement altogether. And there are some uh, strength coaches I've seen that if they have athletes that aren't strong enough, they don't even make them do box squats or deadlifts for speed just because they're not going to benefit from it. So they make them do weighted jumps, one-legged jumps, anything to build the explosiveness until they will benefit with that. So those are two different points you should take into account when doing something dynamic effort focused. If you're not doing it to bring up your flat bench, then you have a whole different array of exercises you can choose from. Then I moved into some inverted rows. I have these handles I got from Ken Sui, Ken Su, still don't know how to say that. And they make any type of pulling movement 10 times more comfortable just by implementing them. Maybe it doesn't hit the muscles better or whatever, but it, it, it just allows you to perform them better. I feel better engagement in my back, and it's a much smoother lift. So I did them there with uh, 25 pounds added, and then I bounced back and forth between that and weighted dips. I'm doing my weighted dips a bit differently. I'm making sure my chest is open. So that's why the tempo here is a bit slow. It's not being done slow on purpose. It's just being done slow because I'm being more mindful of what I'm doing. And I do feel them a lot more just, I feel the muscles firing a lot more this way. So try them out if you ever want to put weighted dips into your programming or they're a staple and you just want to change things up. So like I said, I bounced back and forth. Here's another set of inverted rows. Doing these with 45 pounds was pretty humbling because you got to take into account inverted rows, comparing it to a barbell row, you're not getting any momentum because you can't use any upper body or even lower body English with an inverted row. So I would almost say, I don't want to see, I, I don't want to say it's superior to a barbell row, but I think you do get similar stimulus while avoiding spinal erector and lower back fatigue. That is something I can confidently say. And then I did some another set of weighted dips, and then I just did some triceps, some light delt stuff to finish off the workout. It's a pretty successful upper body workout if you ask me. If you have any questions for me, feel free to drop them in the comments. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And as always, class is dismissed.